Going on a carnival cruise? Check out our top 10 carnival cruise tips. It's John with Cruise Fever here. Let's dive right in. Tip number one, go for the late dining option if you want a more relaxed dining experience. Typically, the staff is not as rushed and you can be a little bit more flexible with your menu choices. Number two, bring cans, not bottles, onto the ship. Carnival's policy does not allow bottled water or even bottled soda, but each passenger can bring a pack of canned beverages aboard. Tip number three, find a quiet place for sail away, if you would rather have a more relaxing sail away experience, that is. Carnival cruise ships have secret decks away from the bustle of the pool decks that are perfect for watching the ship pull out of port. Study the deck plans ahead of time, as this may be on deck three, five, or six, depending on the ship, some ships even have a Deck 10 forward balcony open to the public. Tip number four, get a thermal suite pass. You can save money just by booking a spa balcony on your cruise so you can have access to the thermal suite, but if you only want to use it for a few days, ask the spa desk about a spa pass shortly before the cruise is over. They will usually not allow this during the first few days of the cruise. Number five, pre-purchase bottled water through the ship. I always like to have some bottled water on hand, but since you can't bring your own, Carnival makes this easy. For $4.50, you can have a 12-pack of 16.9-ounce water bottles sent to your room. This is cheaper than the $4.50, I think it is, bottle of water sitting on your stateroom desk. Number six, order steakhouse selections in the main dining room. I always enjoy the steakhouse experience, but if you still want to eat in the main dining room, you can now order filet mignon, New York strip, and lobster for an extra surcharge. Tip number seven, know when to use Faster to the Fun. This program is great for those who do not have loyalty rewards built up yet, but still want the VIP experience for shorter lines, less waiting for boarding, staterooms, tendering, etc. If you cruise a lot, this extra cost might not be worth it. But if cruising on a Carnival cruise ship is a once in a decade experience, go ahead, pay the extra $50 to $100 so you can spend more of your vacation having fun. I put a link in the description of this video for everything you need to know about Carnival's Faster to the Fun program. Number eight, enjoy unlimited ice cream and pizza. I know it sounds like a weird tip, but this uh, will probably destroy any diet you might be on. But don't forget, you can get pizza 24-7 near the aft pool, and soft serve ice cream and frozen yogurt is always available in and around the buffet area. Tip number nine is to download the Carnival Hub app. This app used to be a good idea, and now it's pretty much a must. Not only will it keep you up to date with everything going on throughout the ship, no more worrying about forgetting your fun times in the stateroom, but it also allows you to browse and buy your photos from the cruise and keep in touch with your group. For five bucks, you can message anyone on the cruise ship who is also connected to the ship's Wi-Fi. And tip number 10 is to know about Carnival's great vacation guarantee. Hopefully you'll never need this, but Carnival does offer a guarantee should your Carnival cruise turn out to be a bad idea. Within 24 hours of embarkation, just let the line know and they will refund 100% of your fare and make sure you get sent back to the port safely. This excludes things out of the cruise line's control, like weather and certain exclusions apply, but it's a great thing Carnival's done to help keep them accountable for a great cruise experience. We know we could have added many more things to this list, but we didn't want to make it too long of a video. So if you have something to add, what are your Carnival Cruise Line tips, things that you like to do when you go on a Carnival Cruise, please let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and like this video if you do find it bearable. <laughs>